Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV Dex, we come up with new video. This video is all about a CMS. Today we are going to discuss with you Zomato for PC. So in this video we are going to discuss with you what is Zomato for PC, what are its feature and function and after that we will tell you that what are its minimum system requirement and then when we moved to our video to practical part means how you get the file how you install the file and how you configure the software after installation to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel so let us start Zmodo for PC is a software which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on your laptop screen. It is a software program for monitoring the CCTV cameras on computer screen. It is also used widely for the monitor of the cameras on remote locations over the internet. So the main purpose of this app is that by using this app you are able to access live view of the camera. Not only the live view of the camera but you are able to access multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras you control the ptz cameraman you are able to pan it and zoom you take the snapshot of the video to save the live view of the camera you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color etc you take the backup of the recorded videos and you can control the quality of the video recording and many more okay so if we are discussing about its minimum system requirement then you should have at least Windows 7, 8, 10, 11, but it can, but I don't recommend Windows 7 because this is this this is discontinued by Microsoft, and it can run on Mac OS, High Sierra, Catalina, Mojave, and if and if if we are discussing about processor, then you should have at least Core i5 processor or equivalent processor in other companies and have at least 4 GB of RAM, and. If we are discussing about its hard disk, then you should have at least 50 GB of free space on the hard drive. Why this is too much? That because software installation don't take too much space. Uh, but when you uh, see the live video, you may want to record, you may want to take a snapshot of the video. For that, you should have at least 50 GB of free space. Now, I move your, my video to the practical part that how you get this for that you should open any browser in my case I am using Chrome just I open my Chrome browser and search for that modo for PC and here I find my favorite one we just open the website and download for Zomato. Why this website? Because in this website not only it gives download but give all the way that how you configure the software and how you install the software. Everything is mentioned. Okay. So let's go to the download page. Here it's a download page for Windows. Just click on that. Now here the file is ready, just click on the download button. Let's close that. Now see your file start downloading and it is downloaded here. <laughs> now this download is completed, just click on show in folder. When you do this, it will redirect to your download page. Just right click on the down downloaded file and click extract and click this file to open and here is our application file or our installer file or exe file just right click on the application file and click as run at admit administrator and click ok and click next now again click next and click yes 
because I have maybe I have already downloaded it just click next again click next and again click install now just click tick launch viewer when you do this it will auto automatically open the software so here is the interface of the software so you find many things like lancers so if your device and your PC both on the, are on the same network then you should click the LAN search here okay uh, means your device and your PC are connected to same router then you should click on the LAN search otherwise you should click, click on the IP search or DNS search now the question arises why DNS search and why IP search so if you want to connect your remote locations then you should have at least DNS and DNS you can find a DNS when you log in your device and go to the network option over there you should enable DNS you should enter here DNS URL and here is a port number and you should put put here anything which you easily remember like cam of cam dvr office dvr or home dvr and here the username and password so don't be confused that here because his username and password is of the device device means the device you are adding it may be a dvr nvr or a camera okay and here is ip search ip search is used generally if you have a static ip or you have a local ip address you so in my case i am going to connect with a local ip address so here i enter my IP address and I think anything like I make just this latest device okay now just click username and password please don't be confused again it is the username and password of the device device means device you are adding it may be a DVR NVR whatever you are adding so here I enter my username and password and just click add and just double click and here just double click on the device list and your camera comes online. Okay. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Have a nice day.